so this is how y'all how I neatly tuck my wires, man. I slid a opening in the back seat on this little carpet fabric right here, and I ran my wires down through there. As you can see, all that is ran down through there. And then on your back seat, guys, you have these uh, zippers that zip open, and you can just, you know, neatly tuck your wiring down here. So won't no wires be exposed. As you can see right here, man, everything is neatly tucked down, man. So when y'all running your wire, man, make sure you do it like that. You know, everything is neatly tucked, man, on the system. So I'm going to get into uh, exactly how I did this, man. I'm going to show y'all how I ground the wire. You know, I'm going to show y'all how to run your power wire, man, on these uh, Dodge Chargers, man. So hope y'all enjoy this video. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. As y'all see, Scatty Black in the garage. Looking good. Probably gonna pull her out later on today. Go for a little ride, man. So, yeah, go. I am running zero gauge, man. The thicker your wires, the better your uh, power supply, man. So, First of all, guys, let me say this. You ain't got to run this setup that I'm running. But if you are going to run this type of setup with a capacitor and an amp, well, basically, this is how I did it. So, I got my, my initial, my ground right here, right? So, you guys can see right here where the seat belt, I mean, not the seat belt, where your, uh, to your back seat, your passenger cushion, if you remove that, it's a bolt that holds that down. And this is straight to the chassis. Chassis. <laughs> so, man, get you some sandpaper, as y'all can see, man. I sanded that down real, real good. I got me a terminal, and I sanded down this terminal real good. And this is my ground right here. This is a great ground. Sturdy is not moving. Straight contact, man. So, if you want to run your amp this to me is the best way to ground your amp in a dodge charger uh don't really know about a challenger you got one on the passenger side and then you got one on the driver side if you want to run multiple amps you got multiple good grounding spots so i ran that that's my ground that i ran for my fraud cap now my power wire of course it's gonna be running the trunk. Well, y'all see how I grounded that capacitor up there. Now this is where I got my uh, my zero gauge power wire that's running right over there to that capacitor. And I'm running a 200 amp mega fuse, which you can get those at AutoZone, Pep Boys, O'Reilly's, Walmart, etc. Just make sure, man, y'all try to put the fuse as close as you can to the battery man that way you know you won't end up burning nothing up or you know worse man you know burn your car up or burn any of your equipment up been running this same setup right here man for some years so uh this is how i always ran the setup man well anyway you line that converter like i say man you got a remote wire you got a yellow wire which is your power wire right here and basically man how I, how I ran this is uh i got this yellow wire right here getting power from the uh capacitor just run it in man splice in and, and connect it to the power wire. you can even just run a whole power wire man and connect it to uh connected uh you know into the amp the power wire the power wire on the amp same thing man with the negative wire you got a negative wire right here this black wire same thing man i got that ran down to my amp to the negative part of the amp so it's not real hard to hook this up man y'all just gotta take y'all time with it 
and I'm gonna show y'all how I got my amp. How I got my amp powered up. So man, like I say, that right there, this thing right here is getting all the power, man. It's fraud cap. So I'm using the ground and the power for my amp. From the, I'm getting all that from the fraud cap, man. So as y'all can see, I got another zero gauge wire that's inline fuse, man. Uh, I got a 200 amp uh, mini fuse block that's from from this capacitor to this amp right here, which is a high phonics Brutus 1700 watt amp, man. Same thing, man. If you was there like y'all would in the battery, man, I'm treating this thing right here like it's the battery for my amp. So I got an inline fuse right here. Y'all make sure y'all do that, man. Keep your product safe. For my ground wire, as you can see, the ground wire that's coming out on this end right here is the ground wire that's connected to the amp. It's real short. It's not very long at all. Just long enough to hook up to that, curve around in the back, and cut it out, and it's coming right here, man. So, that's how I got that powered up. Like I say, man, this is how I ran mine. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know if it's a better way. But, uh, works for me, guys. So, I'm gonna put all this stuff back up, man. I'm gonna finish running my uh, speaker wire underneath the carpet of the back seat so it'll look neat. And nice, have everything tucked in. And I'm gonna get back with y'all. All right, YouTuber, go to finish product, man. Get y'all check it out, man. Y'all see that capacitor? Hey, man, get y'all one of these, man. Don't get the uh, the the regular traditional capacitors, man. Go get you a digital power cap, man. These things, man. Oh, these things are awesome. I think it's like maybe you might can get one for a hundred bucks, maybe cheaper than that. I think I bought mine for like 150, but go to Alphonic thing, man. That Brutus, one of the best to ever do it, man. And this amp is way powerful for these subs, man. So I got the amp on super low because I done blown one before I'm trying to bang them out, but here it is, man. Got the speakers ran, man. As you can see, everything looks neat. Everything's neatly ran, man. Neat, neatly installed. It's the way I like to do it, guys. If y'all got any questions, man, on how to wire your uh, amplifier up with a capacitor or whatever, man, y'all hit me up on my DM. On IG, man, at MD underscore promotions, man. Or hit me up on Scatty Black. Underscore 392, man. C-A-T-Y-B-L-K underscore 392, man. Y'all hit me up, man. Y'all check me out. It's a little quick, quick little video, man, of the subs I got installed in the trunk. Put a screw right there, and I put a screw right there, man, to hold that box. When I step on it, I don't want my box to be sliding back on me, man. So there it is. There it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all know we already did the back back there. Nice little sound system that I got hooked up, man. Did everything myself. Not hard, guys. So, hey, man, if you like this video, if you like this content, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, man. This your boy MD, man, and I'm out. Peace.